Welcome to the very first video of my Sinister Steve Reynolds WWE career mode here on uh, WWE 2K18, funny enough. Um, if you know anything about the WWE, there's certain stages to becoming a superstar, and uh, true to form, we are going to start off at the WWE Performance Center. Here he is, Sinister Steve Reynolds. He's on the left there. Um, he's got a lovely Union Jack on his backside. He's from the UK. He represents the UK and is proud to do so. So uh, here we are, walking in in our uh, tap-out gear. Uh, so we're automatically tough if we wear tap out. That's the rule. And it seems that The Rock is in the ring with, I think, Ty Dillinger. There we go. A little whip into the rope there. And, oh, it's going to be a rock bottom. And Ty Dillinger somehow manages to get out of a move that has uh, failed Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Undertaker, and Triple H. And I don't think The Rock is very, very happy about it, if I'm honest with you. But still, there we go. But uh, this, this, is, this is pretty cool. Maybe we'll get to interact with The Rock at some point. But, uh, yeah. No, this is awesome. Let's get down to it. Let's, let's get over to the trailer and start taking some mad bumps. So, day one, October 2018. And um, we're actually in the future. Uh, uh, the last time I checked, because at the moment it's June. <laughs> but there we go. And, oh, we get to walk around and say hello to people. This is a new feature. Right, uh, Hideo Atami, I think that is. What's he up to? Sup, man. Good to know you. He's taken a long time to say that. You know what the Japanese are like? They have these big, long conversations. It turns out they only say a couple of words in their native language. Right on, brother. You too. What's wrong with this guy's facial expressions? Look at him. He's a proper extravagant bastard. Jesus Christ. He is scary. Right. Oh, here we go. Matt Bloom, a.k.a. A-Train, Lord Tenzai, Albert. Finally, the hottest free agent in all sports entertainment right here in front of me. Great to have you here. I'm Matt Bloom. Call me Matt. Well, it, it seems we're all on first terms. And oh, here we go. Thanks, Baldy. It's good to be here. All right, so let's get into this. Glad you decided to sign with the WWE. A lot of room for a guy like you on the roster. You've seen what AJ and uh, Shinsuke have done with an opportunity. I'm sure. Uh, you're joking. The WWE Network is so overpriced. I'm not paying for that crap. <laughs> there ain't no better place than this. Believe me. <laughs> Oh, gonna kill school is gonna keep you focused on the mission at hand. So now, introductions behind us. Gotta get rid of that ring ring rust and evaluate you. So here we go, being put through our places. Uh, while we uh, while we uh, we'll see where you're at. I'm putting you in there against one of our seasoned veterans. Okay, that's gonna be pretty good. To start off early. Uh, so no honeymoon, huh? Once again, creepy facial expressions. Oh, you want one? You want a honeymoon, motherfucker? Well, actually, now that you've mentioned it, a honeymoon with one of the women's roster, sure. And this is my list in order of preference. So if you can make this happen, that'd be great. Alexa Bliss, Charlotte, Brie Bella, Billy, Be uh, Billy Kay, Jojo, Lana, Maurice, Mandy Rose, and then Naomi. And old Paige, definitely her. She does bum stuff. We've all seen the video. Oh, you will. Oh, brilliant. We're going to get a date with one of the women's roster. Phenomenal. Thank you for setting that up for us, Matt Bloom. Into the ring now. We're up against Ty Dillinger, who's uh, been berated by The Rock, and now he's really fucked us up. I mean, Jesus Christ. I don't know quite how long I'm going to be putting all these matches in here for. I don't think I'll make you watch the whole one, but... Oh, my God. That was a whole lot of something for nothing, really, wasn't it? Run across the room to do that, and I think we're fucked. Yeah, we're fucked. Damn it. So, um... Yeah, I can't see us going to Raw straight away, if I'm brutally honest with you. So, uh, let's see what Matt Bloom has to say about that. Come on, take it easy on me, A-Train, please. Very good stuff. <laughs> Haven't lost your edge at all. Did he watch the match? Or was he distracted by something shiny to put in his face? Uh, are you joking? That was proper wank. <laughs> I think that's the best way to go. Uh, it shows. <laughs> now listen. Oh, God. I know where you came from. They don't cut that many promos. <laughs> well, I guess that's true. Uh, yeah, so what, Baldy? Oh, dear me. Uh, now's the best time to practice. I want to see what you got on that end. Go over to the promo area and cut a promo. Okay, here we go. It's time to spit some bars. So, I've got to fill up that bar at the top there. The fuller the bar, the better the promo is. That's basically all that says there. So, uh, I get pro uh, I get a 
points for linking certain sentences together. So uh, here we go. L let's get into it and let's uh, let's really run some people into the ground. So we've got a choice of four now. Let's check these out before we go any further. I think we'll go, this is a takeover. Here we go. Mic drop right now. This is a takeover. The WWE is prime for the plundering and I'm going to take control of all of it. I'm not satisfied with being given the scraps and told, look at the feast I gave you. That's gaslighting. That offends me and disgusts me. So instead, I'm going to take full control. Right, there we go. That's a good start. So, uh, we've only got a certain amount of time to choose what we say next as well. So we've got to be very careful here. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think maybe the uh, uh, my coming onslaught. Yeah, let's do, let's do that one. I'll break it down for you so you know what's coming. The onslaught I bring with me will change the shape of everything. I'll remake the face of wrestling forever. All the legends of the past step aside. Soon, the very nature of the WWE will evolve into something undreamt of before. Okay, we're doing well. Look at that bar. It's slowly filling up. Right, next one. Uh, uh, okay, we'll go with that top one there. I'm making this, my, this place my home. When I take it over, I'm going to exert all my control and do whatever I want. Domination. Let's call it what it is. Total, absolute, destructive domination. I feel like a force has been slouching towards the WWE for years, and I'm... <laughs> I can't keep up with this guy. Jesus Christ. Uh, let's go. Uh, no one's going to know what's hit them. I think that sounds good. Okay, I've got a combo there. So it seems that the actual promo is going pretty well so far. Yeah, I'm liking this. Definitely. Not one not one single superstar is going to know what hit them. Oh, they may have met something like me before, but I'm not someone. I'm a hurricane, an earthquake, a solar storm. And as such, there is no way to prevent or harness me. I'm hurtling towards them. And nothing can stop me now. Maybe a steel chair to the face might be able to stop me. We don't quite know. Right, the last word lets you get uh, lets you know when the promo is about to end. Okay, so, uh, right, we, we've got to do a big sign-off here. Um, let's see. Um, glory days are coming. Let's go with that and see how that does. Oh, it's a right choice. Look at that bar. Glory days are coming for me and in my inevitable outstanding victories. I envy you being there, watching it all unfold. What must it be like to witness something you could never do yourself? Does it feel imp <laughs> does it feel impotent or awesome? I hope it's the latter because that only magnifies my brilliance. I think that's it at the end there. Jesus Christ. So I am trying to be a heel in this. I'm going out of my way to be an absolute prick and be hated. If I could be the top heel on the roster then I would be really happy. So, wow, what an impress... Uh, well, that was impressive. As natural as I've seen. Real honesty to your promo. And if you keep honing that edge, well, uh, there we go. The WWE Universe is going to dig it. Dusty would be proud. Oh, God, Dusty Rhodes. R.I.P. Big boy. Oh, it's a shame he's gone, actually. He was an absolute ledge behind the scenes, I'm told. So, here we go. We're going into a match against Baron Corbin. Big smack to the face, but that did absolutely nothing. There we go. Got him that time. Spinning back arm. That's what I like to see. Come on. Get in there, Steve. Big Steve. Come on, boy. Stomp that baldy looking bastard. Oh, right across the face. Apparently, Baron Corbin's actually shaved his head now. He's completely bald. So, I, I want to see that. A huge uppercut there. Come on, Steve. Don't take that from him. Smack the shit out of him. Dragon screw. Lovely stuff there. Come on. Stomp on his head. Oh, look at that. Lovely knee drop. You are going to notice that I'm a, I've taken the strong style of wrestler. That basically means there's going to be lots of knees to faces and a lot of underhanded tactics. So, uh, that, that, that suits me fine. So, he's already got a finisher. They did say in the cutscene that he was training for a match. Maybe he's just taking it out on me. Don't let him do that. There we go. Reversal. Oh, lo lovely stuff there. Little reverse DDT by the looks of it. Kind of like the Sting used to do. Lovely stuff. Right, let's get him up. We can't hurt him while he's on the floor. Signature move. No, that was not my signature move, I don't think. Oh, my God. Knees jammed into the turnbuckle there. All right, press circle. Oh, he's hung us up on the top rope. Oh, you bastard. Oh, he's going to set us up now. He's got he's got a, a signature move waiting for us. Come on, Steve. Get up. Just give him a low blow. You're a heel after all. Just kick him straight in the nuts. That would do very, very nicely. Look at him fucking taunting me. Oh, when I come up to the main roster, you're getting such a kicking, young man. Right, come on. Oh, no, here we go. Deep six. That's it. Good night. Sorry, Steve. We can't do anything there. Look, it's not even letting me actually bother trying to kick out of it. I am that fucked. Jesus Christ. That was domination, that was. Bloody hell. Right. How are you feeling? Well, after that, were you watching, Albert? Jeez. Uh, like, I've had my... <laughs> Face smashed into the mat, you daft prick.
That is exactly how I feel. So I asked myself, what was I trying to teach you there? Well, uh, basically, you don't want me to accept getting uh, losing, and you don't want to get my face smashed into the mat either. That's probably probably what you want to see going on there. Bloody hell. Look, all things considered, we think you're ready to make the jump to NXT. I've had my head crushed by some bloke in under five minutes, and you think I'm ready to go. Uh, um, okay. Uh, fair enough. I, I will take that under advisement. I'm going to get absolutely stomped on. But uh, basically, yeah, yeah, about time, you big bald bastard. That's that's exactly what I want. So uh, there we are. Congratulations. Be rooting for you. So we've got our very first fan there, ladies and gentlemen. That's absolutely awesome. I'm glad to see that we've got someone on our side. I don't think Baron Corbin's too impressed, but still. There we have it. So uh, I, I think we should probably start thinking about wrapping up this first episode, folks. I know there hasn't been a lot going on in this, but uh, there never is at first. You kind of got to get to NXT and then you can start hitting people with chairs and just generally being a bit of a cunt towards them. So uh, that is what we will be doing very, very soon, folks. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming back, checking out the channel and the series. Uh, I hope you'll give this a big thumbs up and leave a comment. What do you want me to take this, uh, uh, this character in the direction of? I'm already thinking of taking in the very popular Bullet Club uh, uh, stance with the shirt and everything. I'm making it into the uh, Tea and Biscuit Club because, you know, he is British after all. Let me know what you think in the comments below.